A few years ago, a friend of mine and I were at the grocery store and I found these uh, dinosaur shaped marshmallows. Now, something that you have to know is, is that my husband, one, loves dinosaurs, never, never stopped loving dinosaurs ever since he was a kid. Uh, there are various dinosaurs around our house. I'll show you guys later. Um, and he loves marshmallows. His favorite flavor ever is chocolate and marshmallows. Uh, so yes, it's basically s'mores if you could hold the graham cracker. So I found these and I was like, oh, I have to buy them. My friend looked at me and she's like, well, why? And I looked at the marshmallows. And I looked at her. And I was like, because this is what love is. When we got back to their house uh, where, where both of our husbands were, I went ahead and gave um, the marshmallows to Will. And he looks at the marshmallows and he looks at me and he goes, oh, this is what love is. Our friends just kind of looked, and the ones that had already heard my response, which had been exactly the same, uh, just kind of rolled her eyes at us because apparently we were just too adorable. Um, it's moments like this that make me really love my husband because we are different in a lot of ways. And uh, having been now stuck with each other for a couple of weeks straight, it's been really interesting because we have a lot of things where we have opposite strengths. And it's been really useful because we've been using those things. Uh, I'm usually the one who plans, so I adore meal planning. But meal planning without going to the grocery store has been driving me bananas. Uh, my husband, on the other hand, loves... Hey, what do we have? I will just make something happen. So he's actually been the one that's been doing all the meal planning now. Uh, so things have actually been going really well uh, on those sorts of fronts because we've learned how to work with each other's strengths. Uh, and every once in a while, we are surprisingly on the exact same page. <laughs>